all three dams have been upgraded to improve their ability to withstand major earthquakes. Older infrastructure, such as the Cleveland Dam on the Capilano River, the Seymour Falls Dam, and the Coquitlam Dam, were built before new rules for seismic standards were brought in by the provincial government in the 1980s. Since then, all three dams have been upgraded to improve their ability to withstand major earthquakes, protecting the reservoirs behind them and the communities below. The Cleveland Dam, built in the mid-1950s, received a $3 million seismic upgrade in 1992, with the goal of protecting the dam all the way up to a severe once in 10,000 years earthquake also known as a maximum credible event, a powerful earthquake producing the strongest possible level of shaking at a particular location. The Seymour Dam underwent an extensive $44 million seismic upgrade between 2004 and 2007 to meet this standard. The Coquitlam Reservoir is contained by a dam owned by BC Hydro. The Coquitlam Dam underwent a $65 million rebuild and seismic upgrade in 2008. The Coquitlam Water Treatment Plant was designed based on the 2006 edition of the BC Building Code and also meets current criteria for post-disaster seismic protection. Metro Vancouver's new facilities are designed from the outset with these extreme events in mind. They're built to current standards using Metro Vancouver's seismic design criteria. The chief goals of these criteria are to ensure our water supply systems can survive a moderate earthquake with minimal disruptions and a severe one with manageable disruptions. As an example, the now completed Seymour Capilano filtration plant was designed and built so that in the event of a major earthquake, the facility can be repaired and fully operational within a couple of months. Currently under construction, the Portman Water Supply Tunnel also benefits from Metro Vancouver's seismic design criteria. It's built to withstand a 1 in 10,000 year event with features like slippery low friction polyethylene lining the walls of the 63 meter north axis shaft and providing earthquake protection. The UHMW, which is an ultra high molecular weight, essentially it's a plastic and it provides a slippery separation layer between the slurry walls and the permanent lining. You do not want the slurry wall to grab on to the permanent lining because it increases the seismic loading on the, on the permanent lining structure. It's impossible to predict when a major earthquake might strike our region, but it's prudent to be ready. Metro Vancouver's water supply infrastructure is a concrete example of emergency preparedness.